The Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra smartphone models with the model numbers SNS 948BS slash DS, SNS 948B, SMS 948U, and SMS 948U1 have appeared on the Federal Communications Commission certification database. Letter B represents the India or international variant, while U refers to the United States variant. These devices receive approval under the Federal Communications Commission identification number a 3 ls sms 948 b and a 3 ls sms 948 u In the certification listing, the smartphone is described as a portable handset, and several connectivity features have been confirmed, including support for second-generation, third-generation, fourth-generation, and fifth-generation networks, triple-band wireless fidelity, 72.4 GHz, 5 GHz, and 6 GHz. Bluetooth basic rate, enhanced data rate, low energy, near-field communication, wireless power transfer for wireless reverse charging, and ultra-wideband. Additionally, the listing confirms the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Elite Generation 5 chipset model SM8850 for the device along with Qualcomm Smart Transmit Plus Extended Feature Set Version 24, which supports antenna grouping and a multi-transmit factor of 1.27, a schematic diagram showing the layout of different antennas. Wireless Fidelity 1 is 2.4 GHz slash 5 GHz slash 6 GHz. Wireless Fidelity 2 is 2.44 GHz and 5 GHz slash 6 GHz, and Ultra Wideband 1 and Ultra Wideband 2 receive only has also been included. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in comment section. We've seen plenty of leaks and unofficial renders of the Galaxy S26 design, but none of them originated from Samsung. Now it looks like Samsung's own leaked software may include images of the upcoming flagship models. Images resembling official renders of the Galaxy S26 lineup were discovered inside One UI 8.5. One of these, identified by Android Authority, shows a device using the code names M1 and N2, while another image highlights a phone labeled with the code name N3. According to Android Authority, their examination of Samsung's One UI 8.5 software revealed a pair of renders representing the Galaxy S26 series. The first image includes a device tagged with the code names M1 and M2, and the second features a device labeled M3. Earlier leaks indicate that M1 and M2 correspond to the standard Galaxy S26 and the Galaxy S26 Plus. Meanwhile, the M3 codename has consistently been associated with the Galaxy S26 Ultra. Both newly found renders align closely with previous leaks. The two base models are expected to feature a vertical camera setup with three rear lenses, while the S26 Ultra will include the same vertical layout, but with two additional sensors positioned beside it. Along with that, what's your thoughts on this? Let me know in comment section. At long last, the very first official announcement for the Galaxy S26 series has finally arrived. Along with that, we also have a set of new details that highlight what Samsung is preparing for its 2026 flagship lineup. Samsung has now released the first official teaser for the Exynos 2600 chip. And honestly, it looks impressive. The trailer highlights a refined core design, optimized performance at every level, and then reveals the confirmed name, the Exynos 2600. For anyone unaware, the Exynos 2600 will be the first phone chipset built on a 2 nanometer architecture. Based on the early leaked benchmarks, the results so far look very promising. Samsung didn't include any launch dates in the trailer, so this serves purely as the first formal announcement of the Exynos 2600. We can expect more promotional teasers like this in the coming weeks. Speaking of official material, these could be the confirmed wallpapers for the Galaxy S26 Ultra. What makes them interesting is that they may also hint at the final color options of the S26 Ultra. Out of all the shades shown, the standout for me is definitely the new purple variant. Based on the wallpaper, it looks distinct and could be Samsung's direct response to the orange finish on the iPhone 17 Pro Max. And now, Ice Universe has shared something that quietly confirms a major detail about the color options, and it's big. So here's what happened. Ice Universe posted a simple but very powerful tweet. He said, I would buy a white or silver S26 Ultra, and I would have to buy a purple S26 Ultra. And this might look like just a personal opinion, 
but it actually reveals something important. This statement, Clear's throat, strongly suggests that the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra will come in three confirmed colors, white, silver, and purple. Ice Universe almost never talks about colors unless he is sure. His pattern has always been the same. If he tweets about a color, it's because he has already seen internal details. So yes, this tweet practically confirms that Samsung is preparing at least these three official color options for the S26 Ultra. White, clean, classic, and premium. Silver, elegant, and futuristic. Purple, the standout color Samsung loves to push as the main highlight. And if a top insider is already talking about these options, that means Samsung's color decision is locked in. The S26 Ultra is coming closer, and leaks like this make the hype even stronger. What's your thoughts on this? Let me know in comments section. We're now going to run through the full specs, design, and expected pricing to help you decide which one is right for you, so hit subscribe now, and let's dive right into it. First up, the standard Galaxy S26. It's coming with a 6.2-inch dynamic A and OLED display with improvements in brightness and color accuracy. We get a 120Hz display with HDR10+, and a resolution of 1080x2340. The display will be protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. For selfies, it has a 12-megapixel punch hole camera. On the rear, there's a triple camera setup consisting of a wide, ultra-wide, and telephoto, but the exact sensors are still unknown. It'll be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 chipset and comes with 12GB of RAM and up to 512GB of storage, UFS 4.0. The battery is a 4000 mAh unit with 25 dB fast charging and 15 dB wireless charging. It will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband support. The phone will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at around $800 in January 2026. Next we have the Samsung Galaxy S26 Plus, which may also be known as the S26 Edge. This one will come with a 6.7-inch dynamic A and OLED display with similar improvements in brightness and color accuracy. You'll get a 120Hz display, HDR10+, and a resolution of 1440x3120, protected by Gorilla Glass Victus 3. There's a 12 megapixel punch hole camera for selfies. The rear setup includes a dual camera system with a wide and an ultra wide camera, though the exact sensors are still under wraps. It's also powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 and will come with 12 gigabytes of RAM and storage options of 256 gigabytes or 512 gigabytes, UFS 4.0. The battery is a 4,900 mAh unit with 45 DD fast charging and 15 DD wireless charging. It will support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. This model will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to be priced from $1,000 in January 2026. Finally, we have the premium model, the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra. This one features a 6.9-inch dynamic A and OLED display, again with improvements to brightness and color accuracy, 120Hz refresh rate, and HDR10+, with a resolution of 1440x3120, and it will be protected by Gorilla Glass Armor 3. There have been reports suggesting that this could feature the first-ever under-display camera on an S-series phone, likely an 8-megapixel under-display selfie camera. On the rear, it will come with a quad camera setup featuring wide, ultra-wide, telephoto and periscope lenses, but the exact sensors are still unknown. The phone will be powered by the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 2 in all regions and will come with 12GB of RAM and up to 1TB of storage, UFS 4.0. It's packing a 6000 mAh battery with significant improvements to fast charging. As expected, it will also support 5G, Bluetooth 5.4, Wi-Fi 7, and ultra-wideband. The S26 Ultra will launch with One UI 8 based on Android 16 and is expected to start at $1,300 in January 2026. Overall, it's looking like the Samsung Galaxy S26 series is going to be an exciting release, especially if the Ultra becomes the first S-series phone to feature the under-display camera. Samsung seems to be continuing their strategy of improving and refining their phones, rather than completely redesigning them for the sake of it. 
And just like all new phones, there will be a major emphasis on software, with AI playing a huge role in the user experience. The launch is still a bit far off, but we can expect plenty of information to leak as we approach the release date. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on the latest update.